I previously released a video on how the Wim Hof method might be able to help with prevention of the coronavirus, specifically due to the way it can strengthen the immune system. While I hadn't planned this video, I've had a number of questions following that video as people are seeking advice on prevention of the coronavirus. Therefore, I've done some research and thought it would be best to try and compile methods to reduce the risk of catching or spreading the virus. This is generally in line with what's been suggested from the World Health Organization, and should be done in conjunction with what I've previously suggested with the Wim Hof method. So please, be sure to take care of yourself and your health, as well as those around you. With that said, let's not waste time and get straight into the tips. Wash your hands frequently. It is important to regularly and thoroughly clean your hands, either with an alcohol based hand rub or with soap and water. The reason for this is that the virus tends to spread most from what our hands are exposed to throughout the day, and then we put ourselves at risk, either by touching the face where the virus is more likely to enter the body, or as we come into contact with food we ingest. The act of regularly washing your hands with soap and water or an alcohol based hand rub will kill viruses that may be on your hands, thus reducing the risk of you being infected by the virus. Maintain social distancing It is advised that you maintain at least 1 meter or 3 feet distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. This is because when someone coughs or sneezes they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth which may contain a virus. If you don't keep a little distance, there is a risk that you might breathe in the droplets, including the COVID-19 virus if the person coughing has the virus. Obviously, by breathing in the virus you are more likely to be infected and get sick, so it's best to take precaution and just maintain a sensible distance to avoid the possibility. Avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth. Throughout the day most of us have habits to touch our face, whether it be for an itch or just an action that we do as we're doing other activities, such as when thinking. Hands touch many surfaces through the day, and can pick up viruses as a result. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose or mouth, from which the virus can enter your body and make you sick. A quick technique is to actively be conscious of when you feel the urge to touch your face. I personally find that during this time, the act of doing something else can replace the habit. For example, I'm usually sat at my desk during the day, and lately when I feel the urge to touch my face, usually for an itch, I keep a pen or something similar nearby, which I can pick up instead. Not only does it stop me from touching my face, but also shifts my focus away meaning it's easier to maintain control. Practice respiratory hygiene It's important to follow good respiratory hygiene, not just for yourself, but for those around you. Respiratory hygiene means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. If you use a tissue, which is ideal, then be sure to dispose of it immediately. By following good respiratory hygiene you protect the people around you from the viruses such as cold, flu or COVID-19, as you contain the droplets found in coughs or sneezes that spread the virus. Follow health procedures in your area In some cases, when people are falling ill, they have been told to immediately seek medical attention. However, each country has its own standard procedure to follow, so be sure to understand what this is and follow the guidelines. In the UK where I am, it's currently that if someone is feeling unwell and specifically coughing or sneezing with frequency, then they need to stay at home. If the condition worsens or hasn't improved after 7 days, they need to seek medical attention. The processes will be put in place for good reason, so please be sure to follow them as best you can. Don't panic This is what I'm adding in because it seems with the news and hysteria surrounding the coronavirus, a lot of people are reacting in panic to the possibility of catching it. While I urge caution and take care of your safety, it's important not to panic and to think through your decisions. For example, where I live and generally across the UK, people have started panic buying which has led to extreme stock issues in stores. 
however, this is more likely to have a detrimental effect. For example, I recently heard a story of a woman telling someone how she had taken precaution for her safety by buying 40 bottles of hand sanitizer. Just to confirm, that's 4-0, not 1-4. Not only was this an unnecessary action to take, but it's the reason people are struggling to get access to hand sanitizers, meaning that she's part of the problem that prevents others from taking correct course of actions to ensure they're doing what's necessary to prevent the spread of it. Now, unless this woman intends to just lock herself away in her house, she's going to come into contact with others, so she's done no one any favours with what I can only call a selfish action. In such circumstances, common sense goes a long way, so please, do all that's necessary to care for yourself, and I include practising the Wim Hof method I previously spoke about. However, I can't stress enough, don't panic and instead make sure to educate yourself on what is the best way to proceed. Hopefully this was of help and while I'm not planning any further content on coronavirus, if there are questions or you'd like me to do more to try and help as we work through this situation together, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.